it's gonna get worse because yeah. um this is from kotaku right so i shared this on x and i was like please no please no Acolyte showrunner wants to bring Knights of the Old Republic to our screens. Leslie Headland, oh, creator and writer of the latest Star Wars hit. It's not a hit. Oh, it really depends. Uh, it's certainly the right person to do it. Man, imagine the one that everyone wants to be a show and you get Leslie to sort of be in charge of it. Oh man. And like people are saying, like, this is like when well, Knights of the Old Republic is like one of the best Star Wars games. It's so fucking good. But yeah, man. Oh, geez. Here we go. The showrunner behind Disney Plus's latest Star Wars series, The Acolyte, has uh, reiterated her interest in creating a live action TV show based on the wonderful 2003 video game, Knights of the Old Republic. Yes, do that. Do that very now. Leslie Hetland, The Acolyte's creator and showrunner, spoke uh, to the a superbly named the Brazilian site Omelette about her passion for Bioware's all-time classic RPG and her desire to see it interpreted for the screen. As translated by IGN, the writer explained that she's uh, especially intrigued to delve into KOTOR 2's blind uh, force-neutral character Kreia. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I think she told the site it would be really interesting story to bring to life. As a Star Wars fan, agnostic, uh, as a, uh, I find my patience for the multiple deep lore series to be uh, to keep manifesting on Disney Plus to be frequently tested. Despite loving Rosario Dawson with all my heart, I couldn't stick through Ahsoka, and I didn't get past the first episode of Boba Fett. See, if Ahsoka and Boba Fett sucked from Kotaku, that means those shit fucking yeah. sucked. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I, was like, oh, I, I was gonna ask. I was gonna clarify. Wait, this is this is a Kotaku article. <laughs> this like, is Kotaku. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. See, you can't effectively express your hate for me. They took away our comments, but I've loved the Mandalorian and thoroughly enjoyed the first two episodes of the Acolyte when I watched them last night. It's a top show. No, it's not. <laughs> and being uh, set a couple hundred years before the movies doesn't feel bogged down. Uh, in almost 50 years of baggage. Ba baggage? Oh my God. Uh, it's perhaps for similar reasons that my absolute favorite thing to have ever come on Star Wars Universe uh, is Bioware's 21-year-old RPG, Knights of the Old Republic. Set in an extraordinary 4,000 years before Luke, Scott, uh, Luke first winged uh, across the galaxy, it also, sorry, it was gloriously able to be its very own thing in a superbly es established galaxy the first game had a fantastic story to boot with a great twist ending that would serve a whole new generation were it to be repeated as a TV show. I'm pitching that Headland adapt the first game before getting to Kreia oh, because okay. they wanted. Never mind. Yeah. But, okay, uh, never mind. I, I, yeah, it, this is definitely a Kota Faku article after that. But yeah. Yeah, I want Leslie Headland to spearhead this much beloved, destroy this beloved classic. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, that's, I think people are very upset. Even though that we got a lot of replies for on uh, when, when I shared it that Leslie Hedlin was interested in doing it. Yeah. I think they're going to give it to her just to yeah. piss off the, the, the fans. Yeah. It, yeah. It's like if we like, if we're going to look at what Kathleen Kennedy has done ever since she came, became president. Yeah, she I, she's do she's proactively doing stuff just because people will hate it even more, and Bob Iger's yeah. on board with it. Bob Iger's just just a, as much as a, of an accomplice as she is. Oh man, now I want to play the game just to see how good it was because I still haven't played it yet. But yeah, uh, yeah, me yeah. too. Actually, actually, it's like I me I I don't know how long the game is though. At least at least just the first game. Maybe maybe I should give it a shot before like yeah, because like right, I'm waiting for Final Fantasy VI to go on sale late, but that that doesn't go on sale to like two weeks from now. So I'm kind of like I can play, I can do one game while waiting. Maybe 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 it should be this one. Maybe it should be Kotor. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, let's read the, uh, let's Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, 
hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.